Good afternoon, dear friends. So glad that you are all here with us. Please go ahead and feel free to list your intentions as we begin the prayer time. Um, we are going to do Unpacking the Mass tonight. So immediately following, we'll take a look at the readings. And uh, they're good. Man, they're good. They're good. I'm super excited about that. But we're going to move kind of quickly. As I mentioned yesterday, we're uh, celebrating my son Jesse's birthday today. And that's a special day. But i um, ready to pray. I hope you are as well. So grab your beads. Today we pray the glorious mysteries. And we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the devotion of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the devotion of hope, hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the devotion of charity and for the intentions of our Holy Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. The spiritual fruit of this mystery is faith. Jesus tells his disciples after he appears to them in his resurrected body, he says, do not be afraid. <clears throat> Our default reaction oftentimes to whatever God is doing in our lives is often fear. You know, for whatever reason, there's that command in the scripture, be not afraid, is one of the most, one of the most expressed commands of all for good reason. And faith and love drive out fear. So as we consider the power of resurrection and tonight in the readings for unpacking the mass, we're going to learn all about why this resurrection spirit, this power empowers ourselves as we move into our life in Christ. Uh, may our faith increase, our faith in the resurrected Christ who walked out of that grave for you and for me. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. The spiritual fruit of this mystery is Christian hope. We have faith and hope. They're they're intertwined. You know, faith, hope, and love. Those things, they go hand in hand. And our, our, our faith leads to hope because... We know that Christ loves us and that he's gone to prepare a place for us as he ascends into heaven. We know that his mission is not over. It is finished was what he decried on the cross as he talked about the the suffering and the passion of of our Lord on the cross and the the penalty for our sins is being being, uh, paid on the cross. That was finished. And of course, you know, we as Catholics, we don't believe that Jesus Christ is re-crucified and re-sacrificed in the Mass. What we believe, and this is an often misconception, what we believe is that his sacrifice was once and for all, but that in the Mass, it is re-presented. Not represented and not re-crucified, re-presented. Meaning that as we step out of time in the sacrifice of the Mass, we are transported through time, in essence, to Calvary. And that sacrifice, it's the same sacrifice offered. That gives us incredible hope. And that's where Jesus is. He's finished on the cross, but now he lives to make intercession for us. He's, he's there at the right hand of the Father. And because of that, because of that faith, we have, we have incredible hope. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third glorious mystery is the Holy Spirit coming upon Mary and the apostles. The fruit of this mystery, the spiritual fruit, are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit allow us to do the work of the kingdom of God, in essence. It's, it's that divine power that we connect to, that as the Holy Spirit, as He fills us, this power allows us to continue in our work. We'll talk more about this in Unpacking the Mass, too, but just think of it like this. The more you are connected to Christ and the Holy Spirit, the more spiritual energy you have. It's sort of like how... A, an electric train set, as long as it stays connected to the track, will can run indefinitely because the power is in the connection between the the track and the train. Versus like you know a battery powered um, you know remote controlled car or something. It's got power; it can go anywhere it wants, but eventually it wears itself out. Whereas the train can go forever, but it can only go where the track is. Does it make sense? It's like that with the Holy Spirit. As long as we stay connected to the Holy Spirit, we can keep going. And I know it might feel sometimes like we can't. Doesn't mean we don't get tired. Doesn't mean that we don't have to continue to work, but we have to work on that connection sometimes. Sometimes we have to, to shore that connection up. And as the Holy Spirit descends upon Mary and the apostles, that work begins. And at Pentecost, the gospel was preached. Great tongues of fire came and rested upon their heads. And then Peter goes out and preaches and 3,000 are saved right there. That's a pretty awesome altar call, isn't it right there? Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of Mary. The spiritual fruit of this mystery is the desire for heaven. And as we consider our Blessed Mother additionally being assumed into heaven the way that that Christ was, in a certain way, um, we think about what a party that must have been that day when she was entered into heaven. And I want to be there. I tell you what, I want to be there. It's going to be awesome. So may we desire heaven more than anything in this world. May we be considering what lies ahead of us, not what lies in front of us right here, but thinking about, all right, so that we can, grant, we can, we can receive two things. We can receive strength and we can receive consolation. Strength and that we know, okay, we can get through this and we've got something great. Consolation and that when things are rough, we go, this isn't the end. And we know that she's there with her son, our Lord. So our desire is for heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, <clears throat> the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. The spiritual fruit of this mystery is the grace of final perseverance. She ran her race to the end and was given the crown, uh, a, a special crown. St. Paul talks about that, about I have fought the fight, I've kept the faith, I have finished the race, and now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness. This idea of crowns is a familiar biblical idea um, as a reward. And what's interesting is that even as the saints in heaven receive crowns, it says that they cast them down before Jesus, crying out, worthy are you. Because when we see Jesus, like all the rewards of our life, when we see Jesus and his mother in heaven, it's like whatever we have, it's just, it's all for him. But we got to have that grace of final perseverance to get there. We've got to fight the fight. We've got to run the race. We've got to finish. We got to finish strong. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the most holy rosary of the blessed virgin mary we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise the same christ our lord amen saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou a prince of the heavenly host by the power of god 
cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day five of our 33 days to morning glory consecration. Should we really give Mary everything? Part one. The second part of de Montfort's formula of consecration says that we should give Mary everything. Wait a second. Did we read this one already? No, I think we did. Yeah, no, we did. This is right. This is right. Okay. It's confusing because we have part two on day four and then part one on day five. Okay. The second part of de Montfort's formula of consecration says that we should give Mary everything including our interior and spiritual goods, which are our merits and our virtues and our good works past, present, and future. Isn't this a bit too much? No, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Let's see why by learning how the offering affects others and ourselves. In regard to others, when we fully consecrate ourselves to Mary, we lose the unconditional right to distribute the value of our prayers and good actions to others. In other words, we give the rights to the grace, our merit, of prayers to Mary. We're telling her, Mary, I give you the right to distribute the grace of my prayers as you see fit. Making such a gift to Mary has a big benefit. It ensures that the grace of our prayers will be used in the best way possible. It works like this. Because of her unique vantage point from heaven and on account of her, of her most intimate communion with her divine son, Mary can best determine which people are most in need of our prayers. For instance, seeing some forgotten person in China about to die in despair Mary can take the grace of our prayers and offered up sufferings and use it to help that dying person now to trust in God and accept his mercy. Now, perhaps this idea has got some of us thinking, well, that's great. I'm happy to help the dying person in China whom I don't know, but I'd be disappointed if I therefore couldn't use the grace of my prayers and good works to help the people I do know, like my family and friends. I'm worried that if I give Mary the right to distribute the grace of my prayers and good works, then I thereby lose the right to pray for those whom I especially love even if they're less in less need than the people in the world. This is a legitimate concern, but there's no need to worry. Why? For a few good, for two good reasons. Hold on one second. Okay, boom. Okay, there's two good reasons. First, Mary makes the good things we give her more perfect. That's awesome. Sorry, that's my commentary. In other words, she augments, increases, and purifies the spiritual gifts and merits we give her. When we give them to her because she makes them more perfect, there's more grace and merit to go around. St. Louis uses an unforgettable analogy to explain this. It is, as, it is as if a peasant wishing to gain the friendship and benevolence of the king went to the queen and presented her with a fruit, which was, which was his whole revenue, in order that she might present it to the king. The queen, having accepted the poor little offering from the peasant, would place the fruit on a large and beautiful dish of gold, and so on the peasant's behalf would present it to the king. Then the fruit, however unworthy in and of itself to be a king's present, would become worthy of his majesty because of the dish of gold on which it rested and the, pers and the person who presented it. Here's the second reason why we shouldn't worry. Mary is never outdone in generosity. So if we're so generous as to give her the right to distribute the grace of our prayers and good works, she will surely be especially generous to our loved ones. In fact, she'll take even better care of our loved ones than we ourselves can. For instance, let's say one of our family members or friends is in need of prayer and we, and we don't know it. Well, Mary knows it and she'll make sure that the person doesn't go without praying or with, that doesn't person go without giving Mary the right to distribute the grace of our prayers and good works doesn't mean we can't still pray for our loved ones. We can and should pray for them. It's just that we give Mary the final say in deciding to whom and for what purpose the grace of our prayers and good works should be applied. Remember, Mary is not outdone in generosity. She especially hears the prayers of those who have given her everything, including the value of all our good works and she wants us to tell her of the people and intentions we hold in our hearts. If we've given her everything, is there any doubt that she'll be generous in giving whatever good we ask for those who are dear to us? Pretty awesome. Today's prayer, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, help me be generous in giving all I am and have to Mary. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right. We are going to switch gears now to unpacking the Mass. <clears throat>